Hundreds are dead. Hundreds more might still be buried alive after officials in Bangladesh say factory owners ignored an order to evacuate. In 2014, more than a thousand workers were killed in a garment factory collapse in Bangladesh. Nowadays, clothes are available in lower costs. Therefore, we tend to buy them more than we need. It's all part of a high street revolution, fast fashion. Instead of two seasons a year, we practically have 52 seasons a year. So we have something new coming in every week. All of these footages are from a documentary, The True Cost. And after Shianis has watched this documentary, it changes the way how she looks at fashion industry. Today, Shayanis is going to make a new sweatshirt out of the old ones that she has. The ones that she doesn't like them anymore. The one that she still doesn't know why she bought them. Back in December 25th, 2020, Shayanis bought herself a sewing machine as her Christmas gift. But that weekend, Shayanis was pretty scheduled and she did not have a chance to open it. January 1st, 2021, Shianis woke up and told herself she needed to open the box. Shianis prepared items that she needed for this project, consisting of a pair of scissors, a ruler, two sweatshirts. Shianis also needs to buy new threads because the ones that she had cannot be used with a sewing machine. A sewing machine, of course. Shianis also had to buy a tailor shock to mark on the fabric, and also measurement tape. Therefore, Shianis had to make a trip to Walmart for the items that she didn't have. Note, during this pandemic time, every action was taken carefully. Shianis started by sketching her ideas on the paper. Drawing is the fattest method, conveying ideas from brands to be visible and understood. Consequently, Shianis trusts this method most. After that, Shianis took a photo of a sweatshirt and scaled it in Photoshop. This is an extra step, but this process provides more accuracy dimensions. It also helps Shianis to visualize the design proportion better. I grew up on a farm, married a guy that grew up on a farm. And uh, those of us living on the farm and play, you know, live there, it needs to be safe for us too. And, and the new chemicals that were coming out and the intensity of the use was just continuing to increase. And, um, and then in 2005, um, Terry started having some loss of fine motor skills and this and that and come to find out he had a glioblastoma multiforme stage four brain tumor. And uh, at the prime age of 47 years old, and uh, he died at the age of 50. But if we can slow down the demand of cotton, hopefully the use of chemical could be reduced. If we can use our clothes as long as possible, maybe in the future, we don't need to use chemical anymore. After having lunch, Shianis got back to the project. She started cutting sweatshirt. The opening is 5 inches. On the left is 3 inches for the flappy look seam and 1 inch on the right for the non-flappy seam. She ironed and pinned the fabric for sewing later. Shianis was a bit nervous because this is her first sewing project. Shiani started sewing the non-flappy seam on the right first. She flipped the sweatshirt and sewed at the wrong side. She sewed with regular stitch first, then zigzag for the fabric runoff protection purpose. Shiani folded the other side of the fabric wider in order to create a flappy loop. Then she pinned it and sewed it. Then. Shianis added stitches for more interesting look. Shianis always wants a shirt that she can put her pen on. This pen is special. 
it reminds Shiannis of her hometown. Shiannis used black nylon strap for a pen holder. She pinned it where it's need. Using a pen to find out the width between each stitch give more accuracy. It also assures that the pen will fit. The whole process took Shiannis about two hours. It's as long as two episodes of a series. For Shiannis, it was worth it. And here we are, the reborn of a new sweatshirt. A sweatshirt that Shiannis actually will wear it more often. A sweatshirt that is not only shows Shiannis' fashion interest, but also the love and the care that she has to people and environment.